Okay, so <clears throat> I have the voltmeter connected up to um, the output on the LED driver. And so the first LED I'm going to test is this 3 watt one. And it needs to have 3.2 to 3.8 volts. So I'm going to take the screwdriver here and adjust the LED driver that I made to 3.6 looks good 3.67 and I'm going to remove the clip leads from the volt meter and set it aside So I connect up positive wire and the negative wire. Great, if I can get it to stay. So, the LED driver works pretty well. And it's powering this 3 watt 230 lumen LED. Yeah. So, the next LED I'm going to light up is this 10 watt LED and it requires 9 to 11 volts. So, I'm going to get the voltmeter back out. And connect up the driver to it. So I'm going to crank this all the way up to about ten and a half volts. Right there. And this is connected up to a um, small seal lead acid 12 volt battery. If you guys are wondering, there, positive and negative. Okay, so I have the main light in here turned off and have the voltmeter connected up to it at the same time and you can see at 6 volts it shuts off at 6.72 I guess so about 7 volts it shuts off but actually if I raise it up here at 7 it is on very dimly and as I crank it up it definitely gets a lot brighter and that's only about Maybe a third of the way, right? Keeps going. And this is only at 8 volts. Heat sink is doing a good job of keeping heat away. And I'll continue to raise the voltage all the way up to 10 there yep thanks for watching um, and I have a how-to video on how to make this simple homemade regulator and I will have a link to it right here and bye